So there they are waiting to come out. Let's welcome them here to Samson. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the Compound Women's Quarterfinal Match 4. Bayanlar baylar, Makar Oyay bayanlar çeyrek finalini dördüncü maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target one, representing Turkey. Bir numaralı hedef, Türkiye'den... Gizem Elma Açlı. And her competitor on target two, representing Colombia. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Kolombiya'dan... Sara Lopez. The line judge for this match is Alexandre Vecchio Passerini. You were sitting first, and actually you are sitting second. Target 2 is shooting first, range is clear, begin the match. So the number one seed, Sarah Lopez from Colombia, on target two will shoot first. And uh, you've got to say that she probably is the neutral's favourite here for gold in Samson. But you have to imagine that the pressure must be immense on Sarah's shoulder. Um, she has been unbeaten in 2018, as I've heard. Um, she is the... Um, she has the highest percentage of match wins out of everyone on the field. So, well, let's not forget about her opponent, Alma Ashley, who just shot a ten. Yeah. So we find ourselves in a situation where Alma Ashley can pretty much only win this match. Because if she loses, it's like she lost against one of the best archers uh, historically ever. And if she wins, she is pretty much invincible for the rest of this competition because she won against one of the best archers ever. So um, I think there's uh, a lot of pressure on both archers. I like to say different kinds of pressure, but they come through the first end at uh, 28 out of a possible 30. And look, just to put some context to uh, how good Sarah Lopez is, she only did two of the stages of the World High Dye Archery World Cup this year, and uh, she won both of them, Shanghai and Salt Lake City. Uh, we look at a comparison of the uh, arrows in that first end. Yeah, you can see that Sarah Lopez's group is a lot tighter. Um, she went off a bit to the left, which is the same as we've seen in the previous match, but uh, Alma Hachley has her arrows pretty we much straight down the middle, so... Yeah, and it, it, uh, ner like you say, nerves settled and... Uh, Alma Alma Target two is first shooting first. ...out of the way of this important match here. Range is clear. If anything, uh, the pressure perhaps continues to grow on the Colombian who will shoot first again in the second end of this quarter-final. shooting by both archers. I think uh, Sarah will feel like she needs to win this match and uh, Elma Hachli has the burning eyes of the whole audience uh, on her back because the, the, the whole stage is full of Turkish people right now. Looks like it's just out. Well, it's going to go to a measure. 
And uh, Sarah Lopez has shot a 29, so she's getting better. Helma Ashley has gone in the opposite direction, shooting a 27. Not bad, but is subject to confirmation. Well, look at the calmness there. That first shot of the second end, a 10, uh, matched by Alma Ashley. Okay, results are confirmed. You can always see with, uh, with Sarah when she's uh, is leading 57, 55. Okay, you're shooting first. You're shooting second. Target one shooting first. Range is clear. Shoot. You can see when when Sarah is uh, is nervous, but you can also see that she doesn't really mind it. It's more like she enjoys it and she she really lives for for this pressure. I think and uh, yeah, she's pretty much like a fish in the water, but like a really nervous fish in water. <laughs> Contacto y línea. Bien, bien. Well, she shot a few arrows over on that side of the nine. Yeah, we've seen that in the previous match, so I'm I'm guessing there's something going on on the on the field that we don't really notice as we're in a sheltered place. Well, she's corrected that. That's uh, very, very close to the dead centre of the target. But this 20-year-old Turkish athlete seems to be thriving in the conditions just as much as her opponent. Yeah, she's, it seems like she's enjoying the, the attention and the, the, the encouragement of the, the audience behind her, as one should, I think. But look at that from Lopez opening up another point in her lead. A smile on the face from uh, Gezim Amarashi. But uh, Lopez, well, you said she looked nervy. She still does, to be fair. A little bit, but you can see that the nerves are settling down a bit now that the, the match is progressing and she is slowly building a lead. And uh, her height is impeccable. Um, if you would just scooch those four nines over to the right a bit, her group would be amazing. But now she has a, a couple arrows on the left, which we've seen more uh, today. And look at that. Yeah, that doesn't really get better. I mean, the difference between this or shooting an absolutely dead center is impossible to feel as an archer. So this will have felt like a perfect shot, I think. Shoot! Well, the Turkish athlete uh, trailing now by three points as we go into the final six arrows. It's not impossible, but she'll have to bring her A game against uh, world number two and the number one ranked archer of this tournament. So from an archer standpoint, um, I think her Sarah's coach is telling her uh, it's looking good while she's uh, aiming, which is a bit Weird to me, I, uh, normally uh, you coach before and after the shot and he's also coaching during the shot, which is uh, something you don't always see. So I wonder how he judges uh, the shot, uh, like how does he know it's a good shot, how does he know it's not a good shot and does he also tell it when she needs to do something differently. Well, two great arrows from oh my Ashley there to finish the fourth end for her. But a perfect score from Sarah Lopez. Some might say it's taken her a little while to warm into this competition, 
but she's certainly looking like the number one seed now, leading by four as we go into the final end. And uh, it looks like Sarah Lopez, nervy though she may look, is in good condition at the moment. Yeah, but it's also something that you see in pretty much any final that she'll shoot. I think she's nervous, but also it helps her uh, focus a bit when she's uh, she has those 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 nerves a little. So it's not a bad thing for her to be uh, a little nervous. Well, look at how stable she looks when uh, she shoots, focused and calm. And look at that! That is an exceptionally close grouping. Range is clear. Shoot. So another one of those good ends, and uh, Izem will uh, walk away from this match with, uh, yeah, good feeling I think. And uh, so there you go. Of course, there's a chance that Sarah makes a mistake, but it's a very, very small chance. Bien, 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 bien. Wow, look at that again, an X. Uh, just out. So not a bad shot, but a bit unlucky with where it landed. Well, well. So still, all of her arrows would have fit in the ten ring, height-wise. She didn't shoot any high or low arrows. Well, apart from that one straight eight, Gezim actually has given herself uh, a good outing here and shown the crowd what she can do. But Sarah Lopez finishes with another perfect score of 30. We do have two of the arrows from the Turkish athletes subject to a measure, but as things stand, it's a six point win for Sarah Lopez. And what a marker she's put down to the rest of the field here in Samson. But hats off to Gezim Almagashi, who is just 20 years old and did herself proud here. Yeah, definitely. I don't think she has anything to be ashamed of. And uh, she'll walk away after shooting a really good match. 141 in the World Cup final in windy conditions is, uh, is a good score. The number one seed. Against the number one seed <laughs> and uh, uh, arguably one of the best archers uh, that ever walked the planet. So.